Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 11 for Dev Channel Insiders. The uh, developer channel is the more advanced channel where we see things that are being actually tweaked and new features that are added for future of Windows 11. It is available through the Windows Insider program that you can join with the Windows Insider uh, tab in Windows Update in your Windows 11 operating system. Now, Windows 11 uh, dev channel build was updated to 22.509 today, December 1st, 2021. And what that means is that we are, of course, uh, getting a new build after two weeks. It has a few features and a few new little things that we'll uh, show you and talk about. But first, one fix that was applied to this build is a interesting fix uh, due to the fact that some people were totally unable to upgrade to Windows 11 dev builds for the past couple of builds. They had error messages when trying to do so. And what happened is that we noticed that the reason behind this was a bug in the way that actually the... Uh, build was actually upgrading itself so they actually have a fix in this build so if you had error messages and was unable to move on to dev builds try this build it might actually be okay and fix the problem and we'll update to 22509 now uh, 22509 contains a few little things to check out first of all if you're using Microsoft Edge the narrator functionality of uh, Windows 11 will be much better and will help in improving the web browsing capabilities. We'll actually have a series on the narrator in Windows 11 that has been tweaked and is also a feature that some people like to use, uh, especially uh, if you're disabled and you need to use voice commands and you also need to have uh, text written to you. For example, narrator is good for uh, people that have difficulty uh, viewing have some um, uh, eye problems and for, for the blind also. Um, so Edge and Narrator are working better together, including on how to actually have the dialog boxes and web pages uh, being explained and work better. The uh, other change and improvement is in the start menu. So in the start menu, you will now have three options. When you right click on your start menu, you go to start settings. It will offer you more pins, default, or more recommendation. So default is what you had already. It kind of tries to share a uh, equal amount of both uh, app, apps that are pinned and of course recommended um, files that you might actually want to go to with things you've worked on. The um, other feature puts more pins, means you have more apps, but you have less recommended um, files that you have maybe used. And my personal choice, because that's what I like the most, uh, the fact that you can have more recommended files in folders that you've actually used recently and less apps on the pinned apps. Now, still no way of um, basically uh, resizing the, uh, the, uh, the, the start menu. Unfortunately, that's not there yet. If you do remove the recommended area or pinned area, you still have empty space that hasn't changed. Eventually, hopefully, this is going to be something they're going to work on. I think it's a start. I think that they have, you know, been looking at some of the recommendations and the stuff that people want. And as time goes by, they'll be fixing that slowly. When you have a second monitor connected, clock and date will also be displayed on the taskbars of the second monitor so that you can check that out. Um, apps that send notifications for call reminders, like for example, your phone app, um, all the recommendations or all the uh, notifications that are a high priority. There will be three high priority notifications that will be shown as stacked together at the same time. 
Um, another thing that has been changed is um, as part of ongoing efforts to bring over settings from control panel into the settings app, because of course the control panel is still there, one of the features that was on net network discovery, uh, file and printer sharing uh, and public folder sharing, uh, now there's a new page in the settings app under the advanced network settings. So if you go to the settings app, you go into network and internet, you now have advanced network settings. And here you have advanced sharing settings. It's kind of very complicated to go under the 3 million submenus, but that's the way they put it. Advanced sharing, and then you choose the type of network you're connected to, say private network. You have the file and printer sharing options, network discovery options, and so on. Uh, so for each of the uh, options of networks, you have the capability of sharing in between. So all of that is now here in the settings app. That means they're moving that from control panel to settings app. We'll see what's going to happen with that. They made some updates to the device specific pages under printer and scanners in the settings. So when you go to the settings app, um, you can now have apparently more, let's uh, check your Bluetooth and devices, uh, printers and scanners here. And so we have the ability to show more information about your printer and scanner directly in the settings when available. So you'll be able to see more information about each uh, options of this uh, device. So that's kind of interesting. Lots of uh, interesting options in here that are visible directly into the devices. If you are um, also, there's some entry points for network and devices settings and control panel that now directs you directly to the settings app for the same settings. So these are things that are available. Uh, there's a new option for installed apps and settings to sort the list by al alphabetical order from a uh, name from A to Z or Z to A, for example, stuff like that. If you are um, using, of course, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi wi -Fi in some airplane modes, because airplane mode shuts down all of it normally, but you might want to keep something on. For example, if you are in a plane, you are in airplane mode, but you want Bluetooth, for example, to hear something on your, uh, you know, uh, wireless headphones. Next time that you turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in airplane mode, when you go back to airplane mode, it's actually going to tell you uh, that it remembers. You want to always have Bluetooth on even in airplane mode. It's going to remember. You want to have to turn it on again. So that's uh, an improvement there. And uh, one of the uh, things also that they have added in this build is, of course, uh, sandbox mode exists for Windows 11. And the Windows sandbox is, of course, a uh, Windows that runs within Windows virtually. And it enables that um, system to be isolated from the rest of the system. So you can try things in here that if it breaks Windows, if it infects the, uh, you know, Windows in there, well, you uh, just, you know, close the window and uh, none of your systems affected. Uh, one of the things they added is that now you can click here, you can click the power and you can restart the uh, Windows sandbox if you want. So this is something that was new also apparently in here. So uh, now this supports the reboot inside of its virtualized environment. For the rest, a lot of fixes, of course, as usual, but like I said, probably the biggest fix is the inability to update to a newer dev channel. Uh, so this is something that has been fixed in here, uh, apparently. So uh, that's something that could be okay. Also, if you do have problems, remember you can actually use the uh, Windows um, image to uh, download, there is an image for Windows 11 uh, builds that you can use to uh, reinstall completely and come back into the dev channel if you desire to do so in Windows 11. So these are the things to talk about 
in this new version of the Dev Channel Insider Build of Windows 11, Build 22.509, available today, December 1st, 2029. 2029, yeah, 2021. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.